hello everyone welcome to this vlog where we are going to discuss the cost of living in norway with shitish who has already been living in norway for 2.5 years he is from india he did his phd in switzerland then moved to norway and uh, presently he has already lived there so we'll just discuss very briefly about different types of monthly expenses that you can expect and what is the cost of living that you can expect in norway so maybe we can start with uh, the first expense that is most people see like uh, like you say like uh, housing expenses so how much can one expect based on your experience like for rent or if you have bought the house or whatever like oh so you can easily expect to pay around 25% of your salary to 33% of your salary as rent okay but but this is also true for other european countries as well like i know for sure switzerland and germany have the same ratio so so the rent is about the same ratio as other european countries so you can easily expect to pay up to 33% little bit more if you are looking for a bigger place um so up to like 35% of your salary you can easily pay in rent okay so roughly in euros how much will it be in norway Oh, it depends. Uh, if you are living in a studio, it's a bit more expensive. Like studios are a bit more expensive than bigger houses, somehow. Ah, <laughs> um, oh, okay. But it also has to do with supply and demand, right? Like demand and price. Like uh, because studios are more in demand, that's why they are more expensive. And bigger houses are not that expensive. So you could pay somewhere between eight hundred euros to fifteen hundred euros easily. Uh, ranging from a studio to like a house of 150 meters squares and are these like uh, so do you also have like the furnished house and unfurnished house or you like yeah yeah there is the there are both options available yeah okay and but i think studios i have never heard in norway in in trondheim that uh, somebody had a studio and he has to furnish it Yeah, so studios. I I guess I mean it's the same in Netherlands also. Like studios are always furnished, and yeah. uh, uh, okay. And so if you take for example like an unfurnished house, then do you have additional like electricity, internet, and other housing expenses? So combined together, how much can it be like uh, the additional oh. expenses? Like hundred euros, two hundred euros. What will be the rough range of these additional expenses? So electricity can get a bit expensive here. but like these days it's super cheap uh, but um, like yesterday we were looking at like it's uh, i i forgot the unit but it was 1 euro per megawatt or something like that so so these days the electricity is very cheap so it fluctuates that's how norwegian electricity market is uh, okay so so it can fluctuate between uh, like like these days uh, yesterday for the same amount of uh, price uh, for the same amount of electricity Norwegians paid one euro and Dutch paid thirty euros. Wow! Yeah, yeah. It it it's yeah. It was in in uh, in in some blog post I was reading yesterday. So so it it is quite different and sometimes it can go up. So that means that electricity in Norway is cheaper than. Oh yeah, and green. <laughs> oh, uh, it's it's completely green. The the. the the only bad thing is that we don't we use green energy uh, like mm. norway people in norway use green energy it's 100% green but we also sell non green energy ah uh, okay there 100. are two kinds of there are two kinds of contract actually that you can get when you rent a house either you can get a fixed electricity uh, bill with your rent uh for example we pay f- around 50 kroners in summer and 100 kroners uh, sorry 50 euros in summers and uh, 100 euros in winters per month uh because uh we directly pay our landlord and they pay uh, everything else and so this is one type of contract that you can get and this is uh, a type of contract that most people coming from outside norway get because getting um the the inertia of getting in the system is huge uh, when you move uh, from another country to norway so you can take between 3 months to 6 7 months to get internet connection so 
Oh, uh, okay. So, I I didn't know. That. No, no. So so this is what I'm saying, and, and also the electricity connection. It it could be it it can get very tricky here. Uh, so that's the uh, like. So, so you already go with the existing whatever is there instead of yes, looking yes. for a so, new so alternative. Like my internet connection is is uh, basically uh, on, on my landlord's name. Um, yeah, so that's one thing that uh, people do for for uh, foreigners, like or, or people coming from outside when they uh, move into Norway. Uh, that's so if the I if, if I understand correctly, was it like your total rent what you pay each month includes all these things, or you pay separately like your rent and additional electricity and water and uh, the internet and other things. Oh, so it could go up to forty percent if you include everything. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. And what is the rough expenses in food? Like, uh, maybe give two examples. One is combined grocery that you buy in a month. The range, like suppose, like hundred or two hundred euros or whatever you spend for the raw materials in a month, and. Uh, uh maybe like eating outside what is the range like if you oh, eat so in a restaurant or a walk or something here. like very quick fast food or something like that yeah so eating eating out is very expensive here it's disproportionately expensive so um eating out could be like uh, when i go out with my wife for a pizza and two beers we can pay up to 60 70 euros and like for two pizzas and two beers we pay 60 70 euros but um, around our groceries come around in 100 120 euros for two people in a month no no per week oh, okay so i month, thought like how can it be cheaper than netherlands that's like yeah no 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 uh, it's it's around 100 uh, 100 150 euros uh, per week for two of us for two persons okay yeah and okay uh, so moving on to the next expense uh, so how is the transport like do you have some dedicated card that you oh, can yes, use that's very day? nice yeah uh, so the public transport is very good at least in the cities uh, trains are very bad um, okay. so um, but flights are cheap so between trondheim and norway uh, sorry between trondheim and oslo um, you can go and come back within 100 euros and what is the duration like it's one way 50, duration 50 minutes flight oh okay okay yeah and uh, and because because norway is very big north to south so yeah 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 i was seeing the map like it's not very wide but it's very long it's, like. yeah so like it's a it's a 6 7 hour drive from trondheim to oslo but you can fly in 50 minutes to, from trondheim airport to oslo airport and they have uh, so like they have good aviation services like even small cities have airports and uh, maybe not many frequent flights but there is at least one flight between each pair of airports every day okay so, uh, but trains are very bad but the public transport in the city is very good and it's also very cheap like i pay uh, well cheap on norwegian scale but uh, i pay around uh, so there is this Six month pass that I get, it's around uh, three hundred euros, three hundred fifty euros for six months. Okay, that is like unlimited travel for six months in any bus or train or like. Yeah, yeah, in the zone, yeah. Okay, I think it is still cheaper than Netherlands. I feel that it I is? don't. Okay. <laughs> because the thing is, you pay for I pay only for five months, and the sixth month is free. Okay. So that's the trick that they play. Uh, so uh, if someone arrives for the first time and takes an unfurnished house, like maybe like a couple or like a group, like a family, then uh, what is the like general procedure people follow to furnish their house? Is it like going to IKEA and buying yeah. everything there? Or? IKEA is very cheap here, actually. Okay. IKEA might be cheaper than Netherlands. Okay. Because we are next to Sweden. <laughs> ah, okay. And yeah, and so when I came here uh, and I went to, because of course we got a furnished place, but of course we need some things. Uh, you always need things from IKEA, right? So uh, the so we went to, of course we went to IKEA, and then I was looking at prices of 
um, and and of course when you go to ikea you never go and pick up things and you have to go through all the whole whole uh, whole market and then uh, i was looking at prices and i thought that they were less than half of what i saw them in switzerland so ikea is very cheap i was i went almost crazy to see the prices like it, they were really cheap so if you like just to give a perspective if you have like a medium size uh, i i don't know how much is it in square kilometer but uh, if you have a square meters but if you have like a standard house for two persons uh, with one bedroom or two bedroom then uh, buying furniture and other things uh, i mean obviously it will vary from person to person and the taste of each person but uh, roughly can you manage in like 1500 or 2000 euros from ikea like buying basic things for the house if it is completely empty oh yeah buying... even cheaper okay yeah yeah basic furniture will come very cheap uh, like i don't know around 1000 1200 euros maybe for two people for a basic house yeah okay and what are the insurance i think there is fixed you cannot do anything about it but how much do you pay roughly oh, every nothing. month for the it's nothing oh insurance is it free it's social yeah you are registered in the service ah so okay you only pay doctor visits which is like 20 euros per visit but you don't pay any insurance no, each month nothing that's really nice yeah 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 uh, you okay. don't pay any insurance you just pay doctor visits oh okay like trondheim uh, or norway is quite expensive uh, compared to other switzerland yeah, uh, no no not compared to switzerland switzerland is still the most expensive uh, but uh, i think the second is norway and then sweden but uh, so it still is expensive but you get paid like that and uh, the only thing that is disproportionately expensive is eating out okay and and, and to sum up like you mentioned in previous vlogs also like uh, if there is a one person like an individual then how much can he roughly expect to what percentage of the salary can someone expect to save i mean it will vary again but we just want to give a number so yeah you can save up to one third here i guess because uh, all since things are so expensive when you go out and eat uh, like like not there is also not a big culture like in switzerland there was a culture of eating out okay here the culture is not of eating out like it's the opposite culture people like to eat at home ah oh, okay even even norwegians not even uh, not i'm not talking about only the expats or foreigners i i hardly see norwegians it's like our uh, i have some friends who hardly ever eat out who are norwegians so in switzerland there was a culture of going out in the evening and and having a drink possibly dinner outside here that's not no so so people do quite say save quite a lot and if you like for example own a car or something is it uh, uh, cheaper if you take like a road trip or like petrol and diesel um, or something like the 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 petrol prices are uh, cheap because norway has a lot of it uh, but the toll taxes are very expensive okay um but if you have an electric car that changes a bit of things so do they also like people use tesla or it's oh, the normal, the, norway normal has, norway has most teslas per capita in the world oh i didn't know that yeah okay so Uh, so they're like rich people yeah but, but i think there was a scheme by government that you don't pay if like at least until this year they are they they want to change it now but i think tesla owners i might be wrong here so nobody should put me on on podium for this but there was some scheme that if you have an electric car you either don't pay toll taxes or you pay less toll taxes And ah okay so like encourage you to change to the encourage yes yes the government was encouraging people not tesla but any electric car yeah yeah, yeah uh like nissan has a very good one <laughs> uh and and many 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 uh, like kia has a very nice electric car as well so um if so there were uh, encouragement from the government to move to electric and not to fossil fuel yeah 
and that actually encouraged people to get you know somehow teslas so what do you follow as yourself like you what do you take as a normal mode of transport is it like oh, bus. public transport yeah, or yeah, public. i okay. don't like uh, car buying a car and maintaining it and no. but there is no bike culture right like we have in the netherlands no oh no i don't think anybody has a bike culture in the, like like netherlands but yeah people do bike a lot here as well because i i mean i don't know but i was just imagining there might be slopes and no, it might not slopes. be that good for the terrain to bike in norwegian like maybe you bike mountain bike for sports but not like a no, regular people do skiing here so the yeah. like uh they do skiing they do uh, a lot of uh, cross country so that's how they go on the terrains um but people are very health conscious so they do bike a lot so yeah but okay. for me it's, it's the bus okay okay thank you very much for your time for this interview on a weekend and i hope all of you like this video then don't forget to smash the like button share this video if you are coming to norway in the future i will leave details of sitish in the description below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet and see you in upcoming vlogs in other interview series with different persons so thank you sitish thank Until you so then. much for having me bye have a nice weekend bye bye